Shalom. First of all, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Harakakwadash. A double honors to the apostles and the elders and teachers of Great Millstone to rule well and teach well. Shalom. My name is Brother Yahweh Shai Zion. All right. Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Shai is the name of the only begotten Son. So I got a breaking news update, which a lot of brothers probably know what's going on, but this woman that you see on the screen right here with dirty dreadlocks, okay, which is unlawful, disgusting, dead hair for an Egyptian, basically, you know, like an Egyptian custom, who's also part of the alphabet people and is also wearing clothes that pertain to a man who is also a sorcerer or a sorceress. Okay, she's a wizard because she does, you know, marijuana or whatever and was smuggling it. <clears throat> so she was found today. He's going to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh. I was shy for Russia sentences Grinner to nine years in jail. Biden calls for her release, which she's probably going to get out. But I'm just going to rejoice in the fact that the judgment has been laid out and she's been convicted and sentenced. Now, we need more of this out here, to be honest. And technically, a sorceress, you know, the scriptures say, man, thou shalt not suffer a witch to live. So she really got mercy by being let to be alive. You know, she's really supposed to get the firing squad, you know. And the fact that she's an alphabet people, supposed to get the firing squad for that, too. You know what I'm saying? So... There's multiple egregious violations of the scriptures that is just no coming back from. Uh, multiple massive iniquities worthy of death uh, again and again and again. So, And that's the American system that allows this. Okay, so, you know, soon we're going to be under the righteous leadership of Yahweh Shai. And it's not going to be none of that wickedness, man, going on. None of this shit. So it says here, a Russian court sentenced U.S. basketball star, Brittany Grinner. This is her right here. It, it, <laughs> with the dead hair. And she got that Egyptian wickedness and blonde dead hair, too. And locks, dreadlocks, which is going off in the scriptures as well. And you got a guy who a simple-ass person going to comment, Well, no, Ak, really, that was our customer. Man, shut up and sit down, man. We ain't even dealing with you right now. So anyways, it says... um, she got sentenced to nine years in prison on Thursday, which is today, after finding her guilty of deliberately bringing cannabis-infused vape cartridges into Russia, a ruling that U.S. President Joe Biden called unacceptable. <laughs> really? But if their laws are against that folly and madness, you can't bring your American madness and folly over there to Russia. Says Grinner was escorted out of the courtroom in handcuffs by police after the ruling, turning to reporters and saying, I love my family. Yeah, right. Grinner, a two time Olympic gold medalist and Women's National Basketball Association star, as they say, was arrested a mid February in mid February as she arrived to play for a Russian side. Uh, during the WNBA offseason. Her case threw the Texan into geopolitical maelstorm triggered when President Vladimir Putin sent troops to Ukraine on February 24th, propelling U.S.-Russian relations to a new post-Cold War low. Right. And Russia, uh, the president was also cited as saying that uh, the U.S. is directly involved in the war in Ukraine. So they're not just allowing you to just do what you want. Because Grinner had admitted, excuse me, let me go here. Her sentencing could now pave the way for the U.S.-Russian prisoner swap that would include the 31-year-old athlete and an imprisoned Russian, Russian who was once a prolific arms dealer. Grinner had admitted having a, the vape cartridges containing hashish, hashish oil, which is basically like... Um, I guess like refined cannabis oil or whatever. I don't know if it's refined. It's just cannabis oil. 
and it gets you high as hell, uh, which nobody should be doing. It says, but said she had made an honest mistake by inadvertently packing them. Before the verdict, she tearfully pleaded with a Russian judge not to, quote, end her life with a harsh prison sentence. The court also fined her 1 million rubles, which is $16,000. Biden, under pressure to bring home Americans held in Russia, called on Russia to free Grinner immediately and said his administration would continue to work for her release. Today, American citizen Brittany Grinner received a prison sentence that is one more reminder of what the world already knew. Russia is wrongfully detaining Brittany Quote, he said in a statement. Yeah, right. I believe it's fully righteous. This is my personal opinion. And I believe it's fully righteous to do that. And honestly, it was mercy to give her nine years. She should, like I said, get the firing squad for two of those egregious offenses that I've mentioned earlier. All right. One being an alphabet person and then being a sorcerer. That's, that's the death penalty in the scriptures. <clears throat> but in America, of course, they allow it. Russia, they're not tolerating that shit. Says her defense team, Grinner's lawyers said they would appeal a verdict they said was absolutely unreasonable. Her defense team said the court had ignored all evidence they had presented as well as Grinner's guilty plea. She's very upset, very stressed. Good, said uh, Ma Maria Blagrio, however you say that, partner and some other name, some other person, partners after the hearing. Quote, she can hardly talk. It's difficult. It's a difficult time for her. Well, guess what? Well, the Lord said that, you know, I will laugh at your calamity, man. So you want to be an all-inclusive, you know, alphabet person and dreadlocks and blonde, blonde dreadlocks. <laughs> What's your partner think about that, lady? You're going off on the scriptures. Okay, and that's the reason why that this has been uh, put down upon you, Okay. I remember the quote from Genghis Khan. He said that he was the punishment of God. And if you had not committed great sins, then God would not have brought a punishment like me upon you. Which technically is pretty much true because, you know, Galatians 6 and 7 says, Be not deceived. The heavenly father is not mocked for whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. Okay. So if you wasn't committing great sins, the Lord wouldn't have brought such a punishment upon you. Because remember what the scripture says, you know, the, the powers that be, uh, they don't, or they don't, um, they're ordained from the heavenly father. So what do you think? The heavenly father made a mistake? No, nah. you're, you're, you're in prison, man. Now she's probably going to go out because the wine of Babylon is so strong that they're probably willing to trade an arms dealer and a killer for uh, a sorcerer like, uh, <laughs> Brittany Grinner, you know, we'll trade you a sorcerer for, we'll trade you a killer for a sorcerer, okay? Let's do that. And an alphabet person. We need our, our alphabet person back and our sorcerer real bad. Bad enough to be able to swap them for an unreasonable swap. That's like trading Michael Jordan for like uh, Muggsy Bogues or something, you know, back in the day. Or the equivalent of today, like LeBron James for like, Derek Rose or something, you know, even though Rose pretty good, but, you know, people will say that LeBron's better than him, so, <sighs> well, at least now he is, you know, Rose used to be nasty, but anyway, it says, uh, the Russian prosecutor had called for Grinner to be sentenced to nine and a half years if she was found guilty of bringing illegal drugs into the country, honest mistake, <laughs> Grinner was detained at Moscow's, whatever it's called, airport, February 17th, with the cartridges containing the hash oil in her luggage. And while she pleaded guilty, she said she ni had neither intended to bring banned substances to Russia nor to hurt anybody. Quote, I made an honest mistake. I hope that in your ruling that it doesn't end my life here. Uh, Grinner said in court on Thursday before breaking down in tears. My parents taught me two important things. One, take ownership of your responsibilities and two, work hard for everything you have. That's why I pled guilty to my charges. All right, well then, we ain't got nothing to talk about, really. Pled guilty, you know what it is. 
He said, I want to say again that I had no intent on breaking any Russian laws. She told the court, I had no intent. I did not conspire or plan to commit this crime. Well, listen, too bad, because you committed it. It's like you're going 90 in a, in a 40. You shouldn't be going 90 in a 40. We don't care if you're unaware of it. You know what I mean? You know you're going into a land where they don't accept the same type of madness. Unless you've been living under a bubble, you know that. You know, that's why the wine of Babylon, America, you know, the, the Lord ain't dealing with that, man. He ain't dealing with that. Okay? So let's go to the... Oh, man, there's so many. So first off, which to live? Because that lady's a, a witch. Exodus 20 and, 20 and 18. Thou shalt not suffer a witch to live. So she's a sorcerer. All right? So she's supposed to be put down. Period. Okay? <clears throat> okay. Leviticus 18 and 22. Thou shalt not lie, lie with mankind as with womankind. It is an abomination. And it's talking about, you know, that offense. Okay? Bottom line. And it says neither... Whoop. Where'd it go? Okay, neither shalt thou lie with any beast to defile thyself therewith, neither shall any woman stand before a beast to lie down thereto. It is confusion. Right. That's a confusion. See, the Lord's not the author of confusion. Let's look at that word for confusion. And you got this stuff going on in these other countries, man. All right, these people are evil as hell. It says confusion, violation of nature or divine order, perversion and sexual sin. See? Perversion, mixture, unnatural, bestiality, confusion. Right, you're not supposed to be doing that stuff. Lying down with beasts or a woman lying with women. You're not supposed to be doing that according to the scriptures. Or men with men. Okay, you're not supposed to be doing that, man. It's an abomination. It's an, a violation, an egregious violation, man. And if you violate those scriptures, look, that's what happens. That's why the person got what they got. All right, Leviticus 20 and 13. If a man also lie with mankind as he lieth with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination. They shall be, they shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. Right, so that's on you, okay? So when something happens to you, that's on you. You know, check this out too, Romans 1 and 26. Because if you know about Brittany Grinner, then you know what her background is. It says, for this cause, the Heavenly Father gave them up unto vile affections, for even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. And likewise, also the men, leaving the natural use of the woman, burned in their lust one toward another. Men with men, working that which is unseemly, and receiving in themselves the recompense of their error, which was meat, right? Which was a fitting judgment. 1 Corinthians 6 and 9. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of the Most High? Be not deceived. Neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind, which is what exactly she was doing. Okay, let's go to it. Nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revelers, nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of God. Okay. And that's why they need the word of the Lord, man. And such were some of you, but ye are washed. Talking about you Israelites that have repented by the preaching of the word. It says, but ye are sanctified, but ye are justified in the name of the Lord, Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. Or really, Yahweh Shai, and by the spirit of our power. All right. So there you go. So just because America says it's okay, you're bound by the laws of the Most High, okay? No matter who you think you are, you Israelites, all these other nations are going to suffer the fate of judgment for what they've done unto us, made merchandise of us, made, made merchandise off of us. We're not dealing with that, and the Lord's not dealing with that, and that's why this person's in the position that they're in, okay? So we're not going to cry for you, lady. We're not crying for you. What your parents should have taught you is to get married to a man. 
Settle down and have children in your marriageable years between 17 or 18, right? You meet a man, you he courts you, and then when you're 18 and the laws is, is good, you do what you got to do, all right? And y'all do what you do, all right? When you're young, when you're in high school, you meet your high school sweetheart, and then when you're 18, you do what you do with them, man, with, with your parents' consent, all right? And your father is supposed to marry you off as a virgin, never been touched, young marriageable age woman, according to the laws of the land, which we obey. And then that's it. Okay? And you get together. Not this. Not this madness. Look at what you've done now. Going your way. Going the modern day woman way, man. Look what happened to you. All right? You're getting chastised for what you've done. And you're not going to hear it the kingdom of the Most High because you've done wickedness, man. All right, so this is the time that you are to repent. It's not the time to continue in your folly and evil and madness. And look, man, there's hope if you can repent, man. You know, Acts 17 and verse 30 says, In the times of this ignorance... The heavenly father winked at, but now commandeth all men everywhere to repent because he hath appointed a day in the which he will judge the world in righteousness by that man whom he hath ordained, whereof he hath given assurance unto all men and that he hath raised him from the dead. So if a guy gets risen from the dead after three days and no one was there to see that, but they seen him plainly get killed, but then 500 eyewitnesses seen it, Oh, best believe that's a man of the Lord, okay? As the prophecy states, as our time right now, it's 2022, years after his birth, we know what it is. Everybody everywhere in every court system across the planet tells time according to the Lord's birth, man. Before common era, after common era, all right? It used to be before Christ and after Christ, after death, AD, after death, or Anno Domini, the year of our Lord, that's what they used to say. We really don't say Christ. We say Hamashiach, okay, the Messiah. Because his name isn't Jesus Christ. It's Yahawashai, same name for Joshua, all right? He, which means he's the deliverer. Yah means he, Hawashai means deliverer. So Yahawashai Hamashiach, okay? And he's the one that's going to come back and rule with a rod of iron, man. All right, go read Psalm, the second chapter. People are in for it, man. This is just a quick hit, man. And I just want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai for this person going to prison, man. Call all Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, man. Smiling from ear to ear, baby. <laughs> Let's go, champ. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's going down. Let's go. Shalom.